Hello, you wonderful people. Today, we're going to jumpstart our next series called Next.js, getting started, learning everything you need to know to get started with Next.js really quickly in this amazing new crash course. In today's video, we're going to take a look how to get started with Next.js and how to set up my favorite UI library called ChatCN UI, where you get really cool components that you could use powered by Tailwind. And because this course is more geared to using Next.js, we're not going to write our Tailwind or styling from scratch. We're going to rely on this cool theme that I got from ReWeb. So let's jump right into it by setting up our project. And remember, documentation is your friend. So definitely go to nextjs.org or to their nextjs.org slash docs to read the documentation because documentation is your friend. And we're going to start using all the new features, using the app router, using server components and so on. So that's where we're going to start. But if you like to use the page router, the old school of doing things, you can still do so, but I prefer using the app router, so let's jump into it. You can read more about it in the documentation, but we're going to start right with the installation. What we're going to do, we're just going to run this command called npx create next app at latest. I'm gonna go ahead and copy it, and in my terminal, I'm gonna do ls, and here you could see my ongoing projects that I'm working on. If you haven't checked out, I've been working on a cool Astro JS course that you could see on the same YouTube channel that you're watching now, but we're going to go ahead and create a new Next.js project. So I'm gonna go ahead, add the command, click enter. It's gonna ask us to say yes, but then it's gonna ask us to name our project. I'm gonna follow the same naming convention that I'm using here. I'm going to call it next slash client, because if you've been following this channel, my goal for this year to build three different projects using Astro, Next.js, and Remix, and all of our backend is going to be powered by Strapi 5. If you're into that stuff, you're at the right place, and if you're not, at least you're gonna learn some good Next.js, at least that I'm hoping for. We're gonna click enter. Yes, we're going to use TypeScript. Yes or no. I'm gonna say no for ESLint. Sometimes it just complains way too much. For Tailwind CSS, we're gonna say yes. Would you like to use source directory? I do prefer it, some people don't, so I'm gonna say yes. Would you like to use app router? Of course you do, click enter, click for customized alias, just keep default, so no, and it's gonna go ahead and create your project. Once everything is done, you wanna CD into your project repo, and we're going to open it in VS Code. I have this extension called Peacock, so I'm going to change the color for my screen to something that is a little bit nicer for me. And come on, these random colors are terrible. All right, I like the pink or purple or whatever color this is, so we're gonna go with this. And boom, we set up our basic project. We could talk about the folder structure in just a little bit, but the most important place is we're going to spend most of our work inside the app folder here. And every Next.js project starts with the initial root page, which we'll talk about routing as we get along. And if we take a look here, we have our page.tsx file and we have our layout. Our layout is our wrapper that encompasses our page.tsx file. So if you had items that you wanted to be part of the layout, like a top navigation and a footer, we would put it inside this layout component. So if I close this and shrink the screen, here we could see our layout and anything that we place between the children is going to show up as our children in our layout. And currently what this is displaying it is displaying our page.tsx file, which is our homepage. So without any changes, if I go ahead and start our app, so I'm gonna run yarn dev, it's gonna start our default Next.js project. And if we take a look, this is what we should see, the standards. So if I wanted to have a header and a footer, the best place to put it is inside our layout. And that's what we're going to do. So let's jump back into our layout. And for now, we're not gonna worry too much about it, but right here, we're gonna put children on their own line. And here we're just gonna put a div and we're gonna say top nav as a placeholder. And here we're going to put another div, bottom nav, but I'd like to call it footer. And now the last thing we're gonna do just to kind of start fresh, let's go ahead back to our page and we're going to delete everything here inside the main for now, we'll get back to it. And instead we're just gonna put a div say home. And because we're not using this image tag, we're just gonna remove it here. And finally, the last change we're going to do, go into your global CSS. We're just gonna go ahead and nuke all these basic styles because we want a blank project that we could start with. 
So now when we navigate back to our project, you could see our top nav, you could see our homepage, and we could see our footer. Before we install our Shed CNUI components, the last thing I wanna share with you in this video of getting started is how easily you could add pages to your project. Next.js uses file-based routing. So what we could do inside the app folder, we create a folder. Let's say we wanna call it about page because this is something we're going to have. And inside here, we put a new file called page.tsx. And this is where we are going to add our code we're gonna say about route. I will use weird naming convention and we're gonna say this is about page. Fantastic. So now because we have a file called about in our app folder, this will be a route that we could navigate to. So in my project, if I go slash about, notice that we are redirected to our about page and we're still showing our top nav and footer because this is using our shared layout. And finally, to finish up this getting started video, before we dive into the meat of the project, we're going to set up Shad CN UI. You could go to the docs, hit the installation button, and you're gonna see a couple of different frameworks are available. Because we're using Next.js, we're gonna click Next.js. And the reason why I love Shad CN UI because all the code that you write, for instance, in the future, when we're building a Remix application where we're gonna build the same thing, we could use the same React code, which is awesome. But for now, we're gonna hit Next.js. Here, we already set up our Next.js project, so all we have to do is run this command, chat C and UI at latest init. So in my terminal, I'm gonna stop my project from running, clear so we could see better, and paste the command. I'm gonna click Enter, and it's gonna run us through the setup. We're going to go with a default slate, makes sense to me. Do we want to use CS variables for colors? Sounds good. It's going to go ahead and set everything up. The cool thing about Chat CNUI is that you are able to pull these components locally and then customize them whichever way you want. So we're just going to start with the most basic example. Let's actually go to components and we're going to find a button. Here you could see the button. You could click on the code to see the example. This is basically getting the button. Here's the import. But before you could use it, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and add that component, which is very easy. You use npx, chat cn, ui at latest, add command, and then the name of the item, which is our button. So let's go ahead and do that. So here I'm going to go ahead and run the command. It's going to go ahead and install our button. I'm going to start my project back up so we could see it. And here, after we install the chat CN UI, it has created a couple of different things. If you look in the source folder, it created this components folder and everything inside the UI folder, notice we have our button. This is our button component code that we just installed from chat CN UI. And what's cool about it is we could use it as is, or we could customize any of the styling here to fit our desire. So now let's go back into our main page. And all we're going to do here is we're going to add our button, click me, and we're going to import that button from our chat CN UI components. And just like that, we have a button. So here we are, we have our amazingly styled button. And what's awesome, we have Tailwind available to us to style our application. Maybe I'm not happy how everything is here. And back in our page, let's add a class name and we're going to pass very basic styling called container and MX Auto. So now when we navigate back to our project, notice how our page content has the padding. Nice, and you could see that our container is working. Obviously this is nothing to write home about, but this is just a start to show us that we set up Shed CN UI correctly, we could use the components, and we have Tailwind available to us so we could start building. So in the next lesson, we're going to start by building out our top navigation that we wanna be able to show in all the pages, as well as our footer section that you see here. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.